welcome back you're watching today's pets Let, let's welcome in our guest nilesh jain as well as manish sharma on the show good morning gentlemen uh, manish let me come to you first overall if you go to see last week there was that positive momentum that we started off however uh, towards the last day of the week uh, th that momentum actually fizzled out uh, we've ended below those 11850 levels already now in today's day of trade the expectation is that there could be that gap down start and if the index now breaks that 11,750 mark in today's day of trade, what are the kind of key levels we should be watching out for? And what should be the strategy that a retail investor should adopt at this current point? If you see overall last one month the trend, overall it was in a consolidation mode from 11,800 to 12,000 odd levels. Uh, now we are seeing a fresh breakdown on the lower side. After the budget, momentum is clearly shifted on the downside. Uh, 11,700 will be a very important crucial support level. If Nifty breaks 11,700, then we might see levels of around 11,600, 11,500 in the coming trading sessions. So sell on rise strategy should be uh, is suggested uh, for traders. Any uh, bounce back around 11,800 will be a very good shot. 11,850 will be a stop loss and 11,600 will be a short term short term target. All right, uh, not looking uh, all that positive for the moment uh, at least. And Nilesh, what about you? What's your call on market action? market uh, manish uh, what would your top recommendations be in today's year of trade uh, my first call is sell call in India Housing Finance. Uh, India Housing Finance, if you see 740, 750 is a very strong resistance for the stock and stock is facing a, a supply around those levels. Uh, uh, sell, sell with a stop loss at 750 and for a short term target from 670. Next call is buy call in Kotak Bank. Kotak Bank, we have seen a fresh buying uh, with a fresh breakout on our uh, weekly charts. Traders can go long in this, uh, placing a stop loss at 1480 and look for the short term target from 1570. My last call is sell call in UPL at the rate 670. Uh, fresh uh, short build up, uh, fresh breakdown seen with uh, aggressive short build ups on uh, Friday's trading session. Uh, we may see a, 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 a downfall around 650 to 620 odd levels. Uh, sell uh, UPL with a stop loss at 690 for a short term target of, for a short term target from 620. All right. Uh, so uh, going with the UPL, uh, you had seen a lot of traction in that uh, stock. It's been one of the best performers in the market, but now some concerns cropping in on that one and did have a 4.5% fall on uh, Friday. Of course, a lot of these agri stocks were affected negatively. There weren't any big, big, big ticket announcements for the agri space in general in the budget, but there were a, a few measures and nonetheless, but the street uh, reacted negatively to that. What about you, Nilesh? What Nilesh, would your calls be? Sell on a Biocon, sell on Kajaria. Uh, an interesting positive on Americo and a Bharti Airtel. Uh, staying with the consumption pack, apart from Americo, you're not seeing major moves that are coming in for the likes, say, of a Dabur, HUL, ITC. And these are companies which are now heavily dependent on what happens with regards to where the monsoon goes. Q1 earnings is something what everyone is eyeing as well. After the kind of warning that we've heard from Marico as well as a GCPL. Uh, talking about the other FMCG uh, companies as well, Manish, uh, what would your view be? Uh, ITC overall looks uh, very positive to me. Oh, ITC uh, is a very strong base price formation on the daily charts around 270 275 odd levels. Now, in the on Friday trading session, it has given a fresh breakout. We might see a levels of around 290 to 300 in the upcoming trading sessions. So, for a short term traders, ITC can be a very good buy trade with a stop loss at 277 and look for the short term target from 295 to 300. Right. Uh, ITC, in fact, there have been a couple of uh, positive uh, brokerage commentaries on this one as well, uh, despite, of course, uh, the indication that uh, taxes are going to go up. So watch out for that uh, counter in trade. FMCG as well as PSU banks were the only ones that managed to hold out in That's trade view on a couple of those uh, financial names uh, as well. Uh, watch out for uh, the NBFCs because there were some announcements in the budget. You did see a knee-jerk reaction on the names, but uh, today is when that reality will uh, set in on how feasible these measures are and how receptive banks are going to be on these measures because there have been measures announced in the past. But banks, by and large, have kept away from lending to this uh, sector. Uh, Manish, uh, coming on a titan, um, you know, you've uh, had a very strong rally on this counter. Uh, gold import duty has gone up and we saw a bit of a knee-jerk reaction to that. But what's the sense uh, on Titan right now after such a sharp run-up, 40-45% in the last one year? Is it looking a little overheated? Is it a little exhausted at these levels? Or do you think it can sustain and possibly move up once again? 
If you see overall, uh, it has uh, the trend is still up. Uh, overall, we have seen a very good run up in uh, Titan from last uh, six months. But now the stock is uh, uh, facing a resistance around 1350, 1400 odd levels, and we might see a technical pullback in this stock. Uh, we may see a level of around 11, 1150 to 1200 in the upcoming trading sessions. So Titan can be a very good uh, short trade for a short term traders with a stop loss at 1320, and look for the target around 1150 in the upcoming trading sessions. Right, so that's with regards to where Titan is concerned. Another uh, nifty 50 stock that we should be focusing on is with regards to Reliance Industries because that has been one stock which actually created that kind of downward pressure as well. In fact, Friday's session, we saw cuts of almost 1.5% that were coming in on this counter. Now, again, a couple of announcements with regards to increase in customs duty on PVC to 10%, which will be positive for a Reliance Industries. With that, in terms of other announcements that have come in, is the increase in customs duty for tyres, uh, synthetic rubber, that is also going to be positive for a Reliance Industries from here on. Uh, coming to you Manish with regards to Reliance Industries, what are charts indicating? Because right now if you go to see it's still hovering around that 1250, 1260 odd mark. Uh, do you think uh, a good time to enter because we've already seen uh, you know, levels of 1291 uh, to 1300 on this counter? Overall, if you see, uh, the stock is trading in a range of uh, 70 to 80 points from 1240 to 1320, 1340. This is the broader range. Stock is trading in the range only. Uh, so any uh, breakdown below 1240 will be a very good short trade or any breakout above 1320 will be a very good buy. So currently, as of now, there will be a no trade for, a short, uh, for our traders. But 1320 will be a very good level to buy and uh, breakdown below 1240 will be a very good level to short. All right, uh, that's an RL uh, for you. It's uh, precariously poised at the moment. We'll have to wait and see the direction that this counter takes uh, going forward from here. Nilesh, a couple of uh, auto condos to talk about as well. And again, uh, this is also a bit of a reaction uh, post the budget. There was nothing positive for the auto space and you saw that breakdown on a Maruti and it's not looking good uh, for the moment at least. Uh, uh, Manish, uh, Metals uh, as a basket, again, uh, you know, you had that bit of a breakdown that happened last week on the likes of Tata Steel, on the likes of Hindalco, Vedanta, JSPL sale. And this is not just Friday. In the run-up to Friday also, there had been a bit of weakness that had started to creep in. Uh, what are we seeing in metals right now? I mean, is this weakness only going to persist? Because you've seen a sharp drawdown and a couple of these names have been trader favourites. Uh, again, is this a good part of the market that could be shorted? Is this going to be one of the spaces that if markets go down could be at risk of further sell-off? Uh, further sell-off can be seen in this in this stock. Uh, in fact, if you see Tata Steel and Vedanta, both have given a fresh breakdown with aggressive short build-ups. Uh, Tata Steel, if you see, 500 is a very strong resistance for the stock. And it, now it is heading towards 52-week low and we might see levels of around 420, 400, 400 in the upcoming trading sessions. So any bounce back in Tata Steel will be a very good short opportunity trade, uh, short trade uh, with a stop loss around 500 and for a, ta for a target of around 400 in the upcoming trading sessions. Right, so that's with regards to where Tata Steel goes uh, clearly, uh, that we should be watching out for the stock ended at the day's lowest levels. Uh, coming back to the uh, banking space, Yes Bank as well as Indicent Bank, two counters that we need to focus on as well because uh, clearly if you see in terms of Yes Bank as well, now that stock is drifting into double digits. Uh, what should one do from here on? Because there has been a shift that has come in uh, from that zone of consolidation between 100 to 115 on a Yes Bank. And if you see in terms of Indicent Bank as well, it's, All right. uh, it, it's not looking good, at least for names like Yes Bank, which of course has slipped to a five-year low uh, on uh, Friday and that of course uh, impacted the performance as well. A couple of uh, consumer names, uh, Manish, uh, give your view on that. So we've spoken about a Titan, but uh, Voltas, that's going to be an important one to watch out for. Again, uh, there have been duty hikes on certain key components, so that possibly could be a negative. You saw a 3% cut coming in. Otherwise, a very strong performance. Names like Whirlpool, Blue Star have also been <coughs> on the move. Could they be at risk in today's trading session considering what we saw in these names on Friday? Uh, Voltas, if you see, it has given a fresh breakdown with aggressive short buildup in Friday's trading session. And we might see a level of around 5, 5, 560 to 570 in the upcoming trading sessions. So any bounce back around 620 will be a very good shot uh, with a stop loss at 645 and look for the short term target for around 570.
Right. So that's with regards to our Voltas is concerned. Uh, four and a half percent up move is what we've seen in the last one month on this counter. Uh, but moving away from a Voltas as well as the yes, auto counter, are two of the I companies which are seeing an ongoing buyback, which could face an unexpected tax burden as well. So there could be pressure on these counters as we speak. But overall, a 44 points downtick coming in with regards to Nifty 50. 11, 769 is the rate uh, that we're picking up in terms of pre-open and Sensex again 39,500 is what we are watching out for. 68.63 uh, is where the dollar rupee pair has opened up and we will be waiting out for in terms of where the bond deal prices are concerned. Uh, but the proposed taxation on buybacks is something which could be a burden. TCS enforces as well this week the earnings are lined up. So that's going to be a space we should be focusing on. In fact, let me go to Manish as well. Manish, any uh, strategy one should be watching out for in terms of either an Infosys or a TCS taking the earnings into consideration? Infosys uh, result is on 12 July, so obviously we'll see the volatility. Hmm. Overall ch chart structure also suggesting the volatility upcoming in the upcoming trading sessions. 700 will be a breakdown level and 735 will be a breakout level. So overall in, it is in consolidation and it can give breakout on either side of direction after the result. So uh, we are suggesting an option strategy in Infosys. Uh, a long strangle strategy by 700 put, uh, 710 put at the rate 13 and by 7.30 call one lot at the rate 14. Uh, overall, it's a long strangle strategy. If volatility comes after the result, definitely chances of making a good amount of profit is very high. Right. Making good profits in terms of our enforces is concerned is, good, uh, is a good possibility on the back of the strategy uh, that Manish has brought to us as well. Uh, but moving away uh, from few of these counters, in fact, let me just on as well, but clearly, in terms of opening 11, 742, 740 is where we've opened up in terms of Nifty 50, 7 tenths of a percent lower. And that's an interesting thing, uh, Piyush, because Bank Nifty, a 280 points cut is what Bank Nifty is taking right now. And clearly, you have the likes of uh, uh, Axis, ICICI, SBI, Federal Bank, yes, Bank, PNB. In fact, PNB, a 6.5% downtick coming in on that counter on the back of the SFIO uh, identified fraud that we are watching out for. Yes, Bank continues that pressure. SBI down almost a little over 1%. In terms of Nifty 50 as well, you just have an India Bulls housing ITCZ in forces that are holding on to gains, but beyond that, majority of the counters are taking a beating right now. Uh, from the IT pack, again, you have a Tech Mahindra, which is one of the biggest losers. Uh, there is pressure coming in on a Tata Motors as well, Metal Counters, JSW Steel, Tata Steel, Hindalco trading under pressure, Maruti Suzuki, Hero Moto uh, from the Auto Pack trading under pressure. So there is, I mean, I don't think so that the budget has been taken really well right now uh, with regards to where markets are concerned. The downtick continues, 90 points the cut coming in in terms of Nifty 50, a little over 250 points, uh, 300 points now coming in in terms of Bank Nifty as well. And if you see in terms of broader markets, Piyush, they are pretty much in tandem with what the uh, benchmarks are doing. Let's pull up the mid cap as well as the small cap index down almost around uh, 6 tenths to 8 tenths of a percent. Absolutely. As you're indicating again, housing perhaps uh, or uh, even NBSCs which have some relation again uh, to housing or uh, pure NBSCs again, those are where again some buying is coming. But broadly, as you're just indicating, uh, two sessions, consecutive declines and the band nifty again has fallen a lot again in the last two sessions here. Again to a 300 point, but some stocks, they are buzzing. So let's bring those stocks. Infosys, almost a 1% uptick as we're heading towards the results, uh, still a couple of days away. But uh, LNT Finance moving up, the One Housing Finance, a bit of movement, 2% up. LNT Finance, half a percent up there. We actually are seeing a bit of movement in ITC, half a percent uptick. Uh, no major negative news flow. That for us, market could be reading that at least uh, that's minor positive. Also, uh, some more stocks, India Bulls, Housing Finance, half a percent uptick, but one message is clear, advance to decline ratio is in favor of declining stocks, market breadth is slightly weaker, uh, in buy Nifty, all stocks are declining, Nifty again, majority stocks actually are declining, when you take a look at the sectoral breadth, mostly all sectors actually are trading into red, you can again uh, count one or two exceptions there, but uh, VIX index is one percent up, but most of top sectors, they are declining right now. On the mid-cap side, uh, the stocks which are showing some mild positive uptake, uh, those include the names of Bharti Infratel, the larger one, 1% up. Then you have uh, uh, Narayana Rizale, almost 1.5% up. Siemens again, which has exposure to uh, uh, railway capex also, again that basically is up 1%. Also Canfin Homes is up 1%. SL Tech is about half a percent up. On the derivative side, a quick uh, sort of uh, mention here. Uh, we have the likes of IT stocks, both SCL and Infosys, they actually are uh, seeing 
some more for interest build up. And Piyush, it's going to be interesting because from here on, if you go to see, we've already broken that 11,750 mark in trade. We are hovering around that 11,700 mark. Uh, Manish, let me come to you on this one. Now that we are, we've broken those levels of 11,750, do you think there is a possibility it would take us to 11,650 to 11,500? That range is something which could be a possibility in the next, you know, uh, two to three trading sessions or in fact, uh, today or tomorrow itself. Uh, we may see a follow through selling pressure as well in the uh, second half of the trading sessions. So we are expecting a target from 11,600 to 11,550 in the uh, July series itself. So any bounce back in Nifty will be a very good short trade uh, with a stop loss of around 11,800 and for a target of around 11,600. We are actually seeing a lot of selling pressure in couple of uh, stocks again right uh, from the pipe company like Jane Irrigation. You again are seeing of selling in fertilizer stocks. There's also selling happening in Metcalf cement companies. We are actually seeing very heavy selling in auto stocks. Is that banking 350 points down tick coming in on bank nifty. Absolutely again. So uh, that is also there. Uh, let's bring nifty auto index. So while again bank nifty is telling us all about the banking space, uh, auto index will tell you is second consecutive session of very mm -hmm. heavy selling in that index here. That's again an index almost 2% down. Uh, what's being sold uh, so far, the top three names, they include the names of TVS Motors, 3% down, and Hero Motors. percent in trade, HPCL also trading under pressure. And if we can pull up a BPCL on the screens as well and see what a BPCL is doing in trade, there you go, almost 2% down tick coming on these counters. Uh, Manish, with regards to OMCs as well as if you have to take an ONGC into consideration, what would the strategy be from here on? ONGC, if you see it, has already given a breakdown around 167, 167, 168 odd levels. Uh, we are continuously seeing a selling pressure in this stock. We might see a level of around 150 in the upcoming trading sessions. So ONGC can be a very good short term, uh, short sell uh, trade for a short term traders. Uh, any bounce back around 162, 163 will be a very good short trade for, uh, short, uh, for our traders. 168 uh, can be a stop loss and 150 will be a short term target. Okay, that's another word, but let's bring Westlife Development, that stock on the screen and see again if the stock is trying to sustain uh, some sort of mild push from the government for again uh, the standalone single brand uh, stores here. So again, volumes are low, again the morning gains have been slightly given up here, uh, almost one and a half percent up. Uh, so that's one. Another bright spot with the Muthut Finance trying to hold almost one and a half percent up is where the last time the stock was trading. So uh, that's uh, Muthut for you. Now that is also into negative. So firmly again, we can say that uh, uh, breadth is indeed again not looking that great here. But uh, apart from that, uh, what's happening? Uh, PNB again, as uh, we were just talking about, uh, another fraud being reported and the stock is seeing a very heavy selling. Almost 6% down is right now, trading at 77. Uh, let's draw one year chart. Uh, perhaps uh, this stock is now again moving uh, towards this uh, uh, multi year low level. So let's, let's see again where the stock uh, is trading on a one year chart here. And we'll again go to Manish and uh, take a view here. So uh, still again, it, it's far off, but again, it's going back uh, to uh, the recent lows. Uh, Manish, uh, what's the word on PNB? And uh, another word I uh, want to ask you because the stock still is trading in green right now. So uh, what uh, is your word on Natco Pharma? Uh, PNB, if you see overall chart structure is very weak and uh, we are seeing ag uh, aggressive short buildups in this stock. We might see the levels of around 50 to 55 in the upcoming trading sessions. So PNB is a very weak stock and any bounce back uh, should use to, uh, tra uh, to trade on the short side in the stock. Uh, so any bounce back around 80 will be a very good short trade in PNB. 84, 84 can be a stop loss and 50 will be a positional target, 2 to 3 months view. Uh, we might see a levels of 50 in uh, PNB. Levels of 15 terms of PNB, that's something which could be a possibility as well. Let's talk about Reliance Industries on the screens because a couple of announcements that have come in in terms of the budget could, that could be auguring well for the company. But today as well, uh, Friday itself it ended with cuts of almost one and a half two percent Today, if you go to see another 7 tenths to 8 tenths of a percent lower is where the stock is trading at. 12.50 is the kind of levels that we have. Okay, it's worth avoiding. Wait and watch is better first again to see the market breadth again. Perhaps that could be one pointer. But uh, Manish, any option strategy which could be initiated at present? Uh, aggressive buying seeing in uh, 11,700 put option if you see open trust is increasing and prices are increasing. Uh, 11,700 can be a, uh, 11,700 put can be a very good buy around 57 odd levels. Uh, place a stop loss at 25 and look for the short term target of around 100 to 120. 
Right, so that's an option strategy you should be watching out for with regards to Nifty 50. Let's pull up a DHFL on the screens as well. Uh, good moves coming in in terms of Divan Housing Finance, 3.5% up move. Uh, Manish, uh, Divan Housing Finance, uh, what would your recommendation be? Currently, it is in no trading zone, but any bounce back should use to exit your long position or create a fresh shot. Overall, chart structure is very weak and we might see levels of around 50 to 60 in the upcoming trading sessions. Right. Okay. Another stock here, perhaps Bajaj Electricals is charting its own course. So, Siemens and Bajaj Electricals, they both have Siemens a much larger exposure to railways, Bajaj Electricals and ancillary proxy exposure. And plus, plus uh, that LED, LED, uh, LED commentary as well with the kind of uh, orders that Bajaj Electricals has got, I think that's what is keeping the momentum pretty much upbeat on a Bajaj Electricals. Absolutely. So again, both the stocks, they are seeing some traction. Volume, some, uh, again, you still again can uh, ponder over Bajaj Electricals. But again, it's building up for mm. both here. Uh, Manisha, follow up. If either of the stocks, whether Siemens, Bajaj Electricals or Havels, if there's anything which you think uh, still has some margin of safety for investors. Uh, Siemens can be a very good buy. Uh, if you see 1250 is a very good support level for Siemens. Uh, so Siemens, we might see a levels of around 1320, 1350 in the upcoming trading sessions. So if prices are able to sustain about 1280, it can, it can be a very good buy uh, with a stop loss at 1250 and for a short term target of around 1350. Right, that's Siemens. Let's put up a biocon as well on the back of the USFD observations. There is pressure. In fact, on the charts, a lot of technical analysts were betting hopes on a biocon and we are just over the last 15 minutes into market opening. So, volumes are strong, and the stock is trying to again do a recovery of its own sort here, almost now 4.5% up. So, uh, let's uh, take a chart view also. Manish, uh, how's Yes Bank looking to you? Yes, bank. If you see, uh, we, uh, overall, it's a uh, overall chart structure is very weak, and we might see levels of around 70. We are expecting a 70 uh, target uh, levels for uh, Yes Bank. So any bounce back around around 100 rupees levels will be a very good short trade. Overall, 100 is a very uh, psychological resistance as well. So any any bounce back around 100 will be a very good shot with a stop loss at uh, 105, and for a positional target of around 70 rupees. That's an interesting move on a Yes Bank. In fact, the fertilizer names are also seeing an interesting move. Deepak Fertilizer, that stock is down almost around 4% in trade. Deepak Nitrite trading under pressure. There is again a continued momentum happening there. Uh, on a last closing basis, Manish, any uh, stock or any idea you want to retrade? If you see Bank Nifty, we are uh, seeing a gap down, gap down of around 300 to 400 points and overall chart structure looks very weak in Bank Nifty. Uh, we are expecting a target from 30,500 to 30,700. So we might see another 500, 600 point fall in Bank Nifty in the upcoming trading sessions. So any bounce back around 31,400 can be a very good short trade in Bank Nifty uh, with a stop loss at 31,600 and look for the positional targets of around 30,500. Right, so that's with regards to uh, closing strategy coming in uh, from Manish Nilesh. Uh, what about position on the auto, auto ancillary space? That's the recommendation coming in from Nilesh. But thank you, Manish, as well as Nilesh, for joining us on the show with your trading calls and strategies. Overall, that bearish uh, momentum, that sentiment does continue right now as we speak. But let's just quickly pull up a BF utilities on.